Welcome back to another episode of Septera Core. Last we left off, we entered the molten forest. Now, without further ado, let's just smash through this area. I think this bug is weak against fire. Decent amount of gold. Okay. Not an easy area to navigate sometimes. Since the colors blend in so much. So I usually hit tab to see if there is any secrets around that I don't remember. Yeah, some lovely spiders we have here. Thank the Lord, they don't sting. But I call them spiders, but I don't know what they really are. It's like a combination between a spider and a bee. Oh, that wasn't enough to kill it. I'm pretty sure fire would... Wait with fire actually deal damage to them since they're not plants but yeah they're all about nature 99 damage yeah one damage off of lethal and then of course I miss with that Okay, don't miss. Thank you. Yeah. The sound that they make when they die. Almost sounds like the do the zombies when they die. Uh, see, I get lost quite easily in this area. Because of all of the plants yeah, I think that's what they went for having it be a bit harder to navigate okay now there's an area down and there's an area up I think they lead to the same place <coughs> uh, the air is unbreathable never mind that I need gas masks if I want to go down that that way now I remember. Okay, we'll just go around. You can see on the top right something, a red circle. That's where our destination will be, or whatever you want to say, call it. This is going to be a long part. Oh damn it, come on, why do you only do? Take back to life. Okay, I doubt it if I slam. Well, who knows, maybe I'll hit this one as well. Yeah. Now you take care of this one. It keeps wobbling around. And then this is the last one. Stupid bees. But they do give a lot of experience, in any case. Ok, 
Okay, here are some berserkers, Helgax basically. I like how Aaron is positioned perfectly. For a double pronged attack. Oh, never mind, they're not close enough. They so might even flee. But not now. so satisfying when you kill all of them. Here have some bread and a core rune. I don't know if there is any secret in this area. I doubt it. At least my memory doesn't tell me anything. Just walk around these plants. Since I can walk around these plants. Would this be enough just on level 1? Almost. Never mind, it has like what? That is at least 140 something HP. Pretty tough, I guess. No, this is the plant. These kind of plants look like they can open up. Yeah, you need... There's bioluminescent nectar inside, but they're closed. You know how hard these plants make night warfare? Light up the whole place like a spotlight. See, you need the Helgak bone flute. And now we can see the nectar. I don't know anything about this. I'm afraid I... You know how hard these... Okay, and we have the Bioloom Lantern. Now it's full. Now we go around. More or less in case I miss something, or there is an enemy that only shows up. But it seems like there is no enemy. New enemy here, at least. than 100 HP but less than 110 cannot see because Maya missed well less than 130 in any case probably 105 would be my guess And Aram is again in the perfect position. Oh hell, I'll, uh, I'll leave her berserk this time. She might attack the right targets. Okay. F you. Just for that. Burn. even take a chance on Aaron. I'll just burn the plant. Oh. Yes, I could use one here and two of those almost. 
get my core energy up all the way to maximum. <clears throat> my voice is a bit rugged. But don't worry about it. And I am a bit tired. Okay, let's see. Is there anything hidden away in this? Apart from a fight that I don't wanna. No. I can't really see anything to be. Yep, there's nothing here. Just more plants. This place is full of mushrooms. I think I'll have like one more fight if not two. Okay. Oh, there's something here. There's another locked door, I presume. It looks like ruins of some sort. I don't see a place for a key. Cool. It looks like some old ruins. Yeah, but ruins from what? Maybe the locals know how to get past it. I've seen the Underlost open these old doors. Okay, we need an Underlost in that case. That's our top priority for now. see anything else here so we'll just leave this place hopefully without having to have that last battle there we go now we have to go through the canyon again back into the village at least this time I can actually remember the way back. Yeah, I have to go this way around here and then up. The bee only seems to be here when you come from the right. Doesn't seem to be here when you come from the left. No 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 <sighs> keep spazzing out when I want to run away. Just burn them down. I guess fire is strong against almost anything. In this case, unless it's like water based. Or I think the, the fire is weak against metal as well. Like robots. In any case, let's see what the Underlust have to say. Because I presume I... Yeah, I remember correctly I have to use this here. Of course, there is mm, almost no clear indication what you have to do. But there we go. We light this up. And that as well. I think we proved to them we want to help. We're probably the only outlanders to ever try and communicate on their level. Maybe they'll let us pass now. Yep. And now we can go in. Let's see what awaits us here. Greetings, outlander. You speak our tongue? Where are your villagers? Taken. Outlanders take a slave. A 
secure fate card. Another fate card, I see. Will your people ever trust the Outlanders from the Upper Shells? We trust you. Good start. Yes? Yes. I got... You were probably here years ago, during the war. I'm gone, but not gone. Mind your own business, you freak. <laughs> How does one pass the ruins in the Mold Forest? Cannot open, unless under lost help. The Chosen took your people, didn't they? Outlanders took many. You enemy. Of them? Yes. But we don't know how to find them. Our greatest warrior, help. Take you to them and bring back Underlost. Badu help you get to Outlander. Help you kill Outlander. Thank you. Okay. We got a new character now in Badu. Your town has very few structures. We leave old village behind many years ago. Stay here. When Hell God attack Old Village, Claw of God still in Old Village. Where's that? In Mold Forest. You no go. Deep Forest is poison to Outlanders. Need helmets. You mean gas masks? Yeah, we have to find some gas masks. Got tattoo gas masks. Okay, first of all, sorry, Grob. But I have to leave you here. Uh, don't worry about it. Now, <laughs> there's no point in having conversations with Badu. <laughs> I think the voice actor has had a lot of fun with this. What is this a carving of? It looks like the creature that protected Gamma's fortress. Hell God, unleashed by Outlanders years ago. The Ankarans in Janam? Yes, they dig too deep. Hell God come from womb of core and destroy all, destroy village. We move here. Claw of God still in old village. Hell God live in lava, can stand much heat. Beware. Where is this old village? In mold forest. You no go. Deep forest is poison. Yeah, yeah, I know. Deep forest is poisonous. Before I even head back with Badu, first I have to go and kit him out. It's time to go back to Shell 4 and go to the stores to buy him some items. <laughs> It's an honor loss. He's helping us. Just keep him away from me, you hear? <laughs> Where to? Oh, don't be afraid. Underlasts are friendly. Just has two big knives. Prices have risen. Yeah, yeah, don't worry about prices. Or he already has power knives. So he is actually, I mean, I didn't look. Is he actually kitted out completely? Okay. His armor must be weak. Let's look. He is fully skill based. He has a core knife attack and a poison spit. Well, at least it will be fun to watch a new character fight. Plus, I like his name. <laughs> See, most people won't have any reaction to Badu. Local crime. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Have to head all the way to the other place. Need to buy him armor. Come on, Badu. Do Badu, Badu. Do, 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 do. I mean, he looks menacing in any case. And those knives, look at the size of them. Uh, this. We 
mean, I could just walk around and see if there is any interaction, but I doubt it. With crime, so it's the same as runner, probably. Okay, let's see. War skins, ancient skins. Well, I guess I can buy an ancient skin of my boy Badu. What about boots? I think he has the best boots. No, he doesn't. He has the claw ties, but I need light ties. Okay. Kit him out first. There we go. Now, sell her back. The things that I no don't need. Now just simply Adam do your job. There we go. Thank you. That's about it. Let's buy some more core relics. Crime. If she has any to sell, of course she doesn't. Why would she? To go to the other shopkeep. With crimes. Okay. If I buy like ten, should I think the prices should come down? Well, let's check. Let's check. With crime. Nope. Did now? Yes, they come. They came down a bit. Well, I make a, I make a profit With anyway. Crime. Yeah, slowly but surely. And who cares if I give her extra money? I'm going to steal it back anyway, probably. Hello. In form of roots or anything else. There we go. I probably made back With most of my money. Hey, get out of here! Hey, get out of here! But you can't throw me out. <laughs> okay. Let's see. I doubt that there are any interactions with Badu. And other people. At least on this world shell or maybe Layla would have an interesting thing to say about Badu. Who knows, maybe I'll even head there once and see how things go but not now back to focusing on the mission which is to get Badu over to the molten forest and open that passageway read a book yes I need but first okay see he has no reaction as well Okay. Funny how I'm just leaving Grub here. Ah, oh, don't worry, Grub. I'm just. <laughs> I'm just moving around. There we go. Now, just to find that area. Oh well, now we have two enemies here, not just one. Okay, this one is strong against them, I think. Let's see how much damage we do. Yeah, pretty strong. So the poison speed should be strong. Well, not that strong, but still, it should deal more damage. Look at that. Well, I guess it's not that strong actually. Burn, 
the enemy down. Let's see how his core knife attack looks like. That's actually pretty strong. I mean, he is a heavy hitter. This is his normal attack. Well, I guess poison attack isn't that strong against these enemies at least. One, two, three, because I just because I can. I'm wasting a bit of resources. And no point in avoiding this fight. Or no way, not just as in no point. I have no way to avoid it. <laughs> because I keep getting caught. I just want to do his full attack to see how strong it is. Also the parallel between him and, him and Runner is pretty much there. They're both the strongest and toughest party members. I mean, you have to only look at the HP, their toughness and how much damage they do. Thank the Lord. Okay, now I just have to walk around and find that damn area where the Underlust would actually find. Where was it? I swear I'm losing my mind. It has to be somewhere around here. Or is it in a different area? It might be here. Snapping snow sound though. Okay, is this? No, man, I'm going to lose my mind. The hell is that area that I'm looking for? Is it up here somewhere? Guarded by this nonsensical crab or whatever you call it. I forgot its name. Let's just compare strongest attacks. Adam did 9 damage. Maya only did 5 damage. And how much will Badu do? 50. Shame. Wonder why. Yeah, maybe bullets aren't that strong against this enemy. Yeah, I'm losing my mind. Slowly but surely, I am losing my mind. Is it this place then? Okay. It's this place. There we go. What is it? He must have been able to sense the ore in the wall. This stuff looks valuable, but I'd have to dig it out if I wanted any. 
I killed many a man so that my country could mine this stuff. Hardly seems worth it now. You don't want any of it? I didn't say that. Doric ore is worth a ton on the black market. <laughs> he seems to recognize the ore. I'll bet his people have been working with it for hundreds of years. Okay, but uh, there's nothing I can do with said ore right now, I guess. But good to keep it in mind. Okay, let's just head into the molten forest. Wait, I wonder if the hermit says has anything to say about Bedou. Well done, girl. You set him free. Is there a way through the ruins in the mold forest? The old underlost ruins. They can only be passed by the blue freaks of the Bone Circle Village. They made them in the first place. In the blue freaks. You mean this blue freak over here? Do you know anything about the Hell God? We dug one up. The damn thing came right out of the lava of the earth. I don't know about you, but I don't want to tangle with a critter that can live in lava. Damn. Do you have any breather masks for the mold forest? No, but there's probably plenty back in Ankara. Probably just sitting around in the research lab. You won't need any unless you plan to go real deep into the mold forest, though. <laughs> the slow realization of why I'm asking. Okay, so that is an off area, an, an off limits area for me for now. Good to know. So, I'll just head into the molten forest and I'll end the episode once you open that damn gate with Badu. Okay, and we avoid most enemies, of course, because this is just how I work. Okay, we go this way. I think I. I, I still have to have one fight. But I'm not sure about it. Avoid it, avoid it, avoid it. Never mind. I avoided everything. Okay, Badu, please open the door so I can end the episode. Thank you, Badu. Well, that was pretty slick. I wonder what else that radar power could be good for. Good question. Well, I guess, as I stated it, I'm going to end the episode here. In the next episode, we're going to clear this area. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.